Um, you guys are ready to go whenever. No, I killed myself. We're in bad game mode. Alright. Hey, this is Ninetales commentating on the losers round one match between Chari and Churro. They were knocked into losers by Bro Bear and G Man, respectively, who just faced off a moment ago in winners. Um, so it looks like game one's going to Halberd, and I believe the customs in play here are Chari's standard custom of Dragon Rush and uh, Churro's standard customs of Gust Cape and. Oh wow, okay. I was worried for a moment Chari was going to get left behind on Halberd. Um, Gust Cape and High Pressure Flood are what uh, Churro likes to use on his Mario. So wow, that was quite an insane up air string to Uppy. I think if the if Charizard was just a slightly lighter character, that would have been a KO there with Halberd's super low ceiling. So that was a really cool looking combo. Um, and oh wow, okay. Um, Chari goes for a jump close to the edge, which is dangerous because um, if someone reads that, that always puts you in a position to get spiked, and that is exactly what Churro did there. And it was um, the very edge of the possible range where uh, Chari could get spiked, but it happened. And uh, not exactly sure what happened there, but I think after trying to escape from that up tilt string, Chari used up all his jumps and then. Uh, didn't realize it when he started his Rock Smash, and uh, by the time Rock Smash was over, he didn't have enough jumps left to make it back. So that was a pretty uh, fast game one that uh, went to Churro. And uh, let's see what happens in game two. Obviously, we're not going to see a character switch from Chari. Charizard is his uh, love and main that he... I've never seen him switch to both. And Churro is uh, going to Little Mac. So we're getting some heavy hitting characters in this matchup. And uh, let's see what Chari counterpicks. Hopefully Chari doesn't have to suffer from any um, uh, self-destructs like that. Self-destructs are always a little sad to see. I mean, in the end, self-destructs uh, are something that you as a player uh, have the potential to avoid. And so, when someone wins because someone else self destructs, it just shows that that person, you know, is the better player because they are able to not self destruct. But at the same time, it's funner and more exciting to see the match play out without self destructs. And uh, a lot of people like to discount them. All right, so it looks like we're going to. This is Omega Pokemon Stadium too, not the standard one. Even though standard Pokemon Stadium is legal. Um, yeah, uh, that was a pretty interesting exchange. Uh, I think that the super armor on Charizard's Rock Smash had lit up by the time that the uh, forward smash landed on uh, from Churro's uh, Little Mac there. Alright, Churro makes a really good uh, side B approach over fire, using that move like it's supposed to be used to get over projectiles. And Charizard's got to play really safe before he can get that KO punch offline, because uh, one miscalculation near Little Mac can cost him his stock here. Honestly, he's at a high enough percent that uh, even without KO Punch, a miscalculation could cost him a stock. Misses the ledge snap, but makes up for it. His up B was prepared for that. And he's trying to gimp Little Mac with fire Flamethrower, but he was able to um, put Little Mac in a bad situation there where he sort of had to jump into the roll. Wow, and he does get the Flamethrower gimp. So Chari takes the first stock. He's at 112, though, so that's really dangerous. He's just going to try to um, get Little Mac where he's weakest, keep getting him off stage. Keep him at the edge. Little Mac may have a really bad matchup against Charizard or Bowser or these characters with fire like that. Oh wow, but I think that was a forward tilt. was all that was necessary to, to pick off Charizard at the edge there. In spite of all his weight, Little Mac is just so strong. Oh! Charizard did a uh, unfortunate down air there that set him up to get totally destroyed by that forward smash. He does still have the percent lead at this moment, and he does read that roll with a really good up smash. Oh, and he catches Little Mac again, but KO Punch is now online. But that was it! He gimped with an up smash! That was really crazy! Little Mac fell out of it at the edge, but um, probably wasn't expecting to fall out of it and didn't react fast enough. So, game two is going to go to Chari, and this set is getting exciting. We're going to game three. And uh, whoever loses is out of the bracket, so both players are going to be fighting for their life. This is potentially someone's last match here. Churro is going to be character switching again, it seems. Going to Villager. Now this is a matchup that is probably almost 100% in Villager's favor. Um, 
between Slingshot, Lloyd, and Tree, Villager can just keep everyone out, and Charizard's a big character, very easy to hit with Slingshot. So, uh, it, it, and himself is not the fastest character, um, and also kind of an easy character to punish. He's gonna struggle really hard to get through the wall of hitboxes and projectiles that Villager can put up. Um, and we're going to Lilat, which is um, Churro's favorite villager stage. And a uh, stage that we saw Chari get some really unfortunate, uh, I guess you could say gimps. He basically was uh, failed his recovery twice last time he was taken here in this tournament. So uh, hopefully we don't see any more Chari self-destructs like I was saying earlier. And uh, right now Chari's actually put more damage on villager than he is on him, so Churro isn't putting up quite the projectile wall to keep Charizard out yet. Um, and, you know, Villager's at the edge here, but Villager is a character that's really comfortable at the edge of the stage, probably more so than any other character in the game. He can take his time over there, and he doesn't have to feel in danger. I mean, he does when he's at Hyper Sense and you can kill him, but, um, you know. Oh, wow, that was a really good power shield. But Charizard's weight, we can see, playing a little bit of a role there. He doesn't even care about back there yet, even at these Hyper Sense. Um, that is going to be one thing. The kill power is definitely in Charizard's favor. One up smash like that can take stocks, whereas Villager has to try a little harder to get his kills. He needs that bowling ball, and he needs to maybe go for some edge guards and stuff to keep Charizard from getting back. It seems that Dragon Rush beats out Slingshot and Lloyd, and that helps out Charizard a little bit, I think. And also you can use Flamethrower to um, stop Lloyds from getting in and keep Villager from uh, increasing his wall more, I guess you could say. Uh, extending his his territory he's walling in. Wow, out of both balloons, but also hit Villager, so he still got his balloons back. Chari is not letting him, uh, Churro take this stock. He's at 129. Oh, that back air um, could finish it if it weren't going across the stage. So Churro's going to have to look for more moves like that. It looks like, uh, in spite of the fact that fire types are strong on plant types, uh, Chari can't burn up the little sprout there. Oh wow, his shield takes a lot of damage because he just, uh, he didn't perfect shield that tree, he just, uh, shielded it. Just gonna have to be a little careful with his shield. Ooh, that was, okay, this is probably gonna be stock. Yeah, Villager's back there is really strong. And even at that, even with a heavyweight like Charizard, that high percent, um, even from the center of the stage, that back, that back there does finish it off. But uh, Chari does have a reasonable percent lead of about 60%, 70% now. Yeah, um, this is interesting. I uh, I would have counted, uh, between Lloyd and Slingshot, I would have counted uh, Villager as being better at getting uh, into Chari's space and sort of uh, keeping Chari out. But Flameflare seems to work really well at sort of uh, stopping Villager's projectiles as well. So both characters can kind of play defensively and put up their own respective walls. A, a flamethrower wall and a Lloyd and slingshot wall. All right, uh, but uh, villager does find his way in there, gets a grab, and he's successfully keeping Chari out right now. Chari hasn't been able to get into Churro's space for a while yet. Lands, ooh, good shield on the turnips. And Chiro's looking like he's maybe trying to go for a kill at this point, throwing out a bowling ball, maybe expecting a roll. Oh wow, that was, um, I had bet and Chari was probably about to try to go for a uh, spike there, but Chiro just spaced himself out just a little bit and slingshot to save himself. Oh, that was super close. That um, bowling ball could have finished Chari off, but he came up with the up Almost killed the Churro. And wow, this is this is getting really, really close this set. This is final match. Both characters are at kill percent. They just need to land a kill move. The next person to land a kill move is still in the tournament. These are the turn this is the tournament stock for whoever loses the set. Oh, that might be it! Chari takes it! Wow, with the surprise down throw. Congratulations, Chari, and good game to both players.